Google is a hard company to get into. It's known for being hard. It's known for the geniuses that work there, that go through hard processes, studying for, some people study for years to get into these companies. But what are the interviews like? Could, let's say, the average person get into Google if they were smart enough? Well, the interview process has changed a lot over the past decade. Once, long ago, Google was known for asking extremely difficult, trick questions during their interviews. And since then, the head of human resources, Laszlo Block, I don't know if I pronounced that right, has said that these exercises are obsolete because they really were just there to make the interviewer feel smart and had no basis in determining whether the candidate would be a successful employee at the company. But these questions, are so difficult and so interesting. So we're gonna see today if some degenerate YouTubers like us um, can get into Google and you can follow along and find out if you could get into Google. All right, so we're starting off and we have 41 of Google's toughest interview questions. I, have not, I don't know any of the answers to these, um, but we're just gonna go through some of them. Okay, if you were asked to wash all windows in Seattle, how much would you charge? Can I wait for it to rain or something? And then it's free? Is that your final answer? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing that I think of. $69. That would almost guarantee you a spot in Google. Wait, so... How much money would you charge to, to wash all the windows in Seattle? I think I think the first thing I would ask, and I think maybe you're supposed to, but I don't really know. I, I would probably ask, like, they said all the windows in Seattle. If you were asked to wash all the windows in Seattle, how much would you charge? Does that, I think you probably asked something like, does that include, is that like wind windows, like of buildings? Is that residential windows? Is it car windows? You know what I mean? New rule. No questions. I stand by $69 per window. You are not going to think about it for even a second, Adam. I did think about it. That was that was my answer, dude. Okay, explain your logic behind 69. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know my logic. Let's hear it. I want to hear it, Adam. Adam, try and try and pitch this. Pitch us $69. Why is it 69? Well, I was thinking yeah. I could ask for $70, but that that would be too much. Per window? Yeah, no shit. That's too much. Yeah, Watching but a fucking if I make window? it $1 less then people will think that like, wow, this is a good deal. The correct answer is eight. You just have to pick a price per window. Oh because shit. Per window. $69 per window. So Adam was technically yes. right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking seven. about. What? <laughs> his, his pricing no, was, was it just, actually? He, they were just saying, instead of trying to think of like how much windows are in Seattle, just think, price it per window. Explain a database to your eight year old nephew in three sentences. Can they be run on sentences? Um, no. Can I have a comma splice? No comma splice. I'll, I'll go first. I'll go first. Remember to use all the information, Nick. It's not just about him being eight. He's also your nephew. Okay, mm -hmm. he's my nephew. He is my nephew. So he's he is a prodigy and a genius. And he knows every. He already knows what a database is. So why do That's I? Right. He honestly probably knows more than me. All right, no hey, thinking. Go. Just say it. Three sentences. Your go. dad is my brother because that is how you would be my nephew. <laughs> One sentence to talk about a database. Databases store data. That's good. All right. I would probably say I'd probably say a database is a bin that you could put things in and get things out of, and you want to do it as fast as possible. I would say it's like the shelf where mommy gets the magic pills. Dude. How is that a database at all? Is that a relational database or <laughs> The next question is, if the time on a wall clock is 3.15, what is the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand? I don't know. I would say something like 30 degrees. I think what you would really do is like there's 360 degrees on the clock, divide by 12. Oh, my God. I'd say there's okay. it's less than 15 degrees. I'd rather just not get into Google than deal with that. You are presented with six glasses arranged in a row. The first three glasses are empty, while the next three glasses are full of juice. You are required to arrange these glasses such that empty glasses alternate with full glasses. 
you're only allowed to use one glass, move one glass. How do you do it? So you have three empty glasses, then three with juice. You can only move one of the glasses and you want them to be alternating empty, full, empty, full. How do you do that? Pour the juice into the other glasses. Whoa. That sounds right. I didn't even look at the answer, but that sounds right. I did not even think about that. That sounds pretty good to me. The question is to test your creativity. The correct answer is to take the fifth glass with this full and pour the content into the second glass. Sounds like I'm getting in a fang, boys. Well done. That's genius. You're, you're a genius. Well done. Good stuff. Is your IQ more than 130? That's an actual no. question to ask. <laughs> Just straight up no. Nope. That's actually such a good question. I would say yes, because obviously everyone that works at Google is a genius, so you want to just admit you're not a genius? No. So obviously you have to say you're a genius to get in. True. That's true. It's like a confidence thing. Yeah. yeah. It really is just a, you have to fool the interviewer. That's what I'm saying. Actually, you have to say that yours is higher than the interviewer's. Mm, yeah. Yeah, don't even say if it's higher than 130. Just say it's, it's 10 more higher IQ than theirs. It's your IQ plus one. <laughs> right. Whatever you have, I have five more. All right, let's see what the answer to that is. How is it? How could there be an answer? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> how does that even make sense? That doesn't make any sense. These are actual questions that did get asked too, which is the insane part. <laughs> I feel oh. bad for those people. It says avoid answering with yes, even if you know your IQ is above 130. Boom. I'm in. I made it. Yeah. It got fired. But you are dumb because your IQ is less than 130. So there are months with 30 days and others with 31 days. How many months have 28 days? One. Is that your answer? Because if this is a trick question, that seems too easy. I think it is. I, I think it's either one or zero. It depends if it's a leap year, right? Or something. Ooh. Let's oh. See. Maybe. Oh, no. This is a trick question. I would have never thought of this. Don't be tempted to give February as your answer. Be oh, because they all have 28 days. All of them have 28 oh. days. Dang. Oh, right. Of course. Shit. Dang. You, got, wow. you guys failed. And, uh, so That's that, I. like, I'm a lawyer. Let me go first for this one. Why are manhole covers round? Well, because they need, I have no answer. They need to be round um, to cover up. What is a manhole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was, that was pretty good. Oh. Oh, that's rich. That's good stuff. Do you I'll... guys know? I do know. Okay, what personally. is it? Is it like a pothole? No, it's like the thing that covers the sewers. like those. Oh, you know why? Because two um, pipes are round and cylinder and uh, plumbing has pipes and sewers are plumbing related. So to cover those, just keep it all consistent. I like it. That was pretty good, I thought. What do you guys think? I'll take it. I guess, like, this way you can't fucking put it in the wrong direction. That made no sense to me at all. Like, you can't drop right, the, the manhole yeah. cover through the hole if it's round. Right. I think. I think you're right. Why wouldn't it be a square, then? Because with the square, you could, like, Turn it to the diagonal way, and then. Oh shit! Damn, dude, what you're actually. I think smart. it's so that it can double as a frisbee. So if you ever get bored and you're in the streets, you can kind of just. <laughs> if you're jacked, you, know, you could just whip the disc around with the boys. That's right. Uh, manhole covers are round because a circle is the only shape that cannot fall through itself. You were right, Adam. Boom, Adam! Big brain move. I can wish I... I interviewed for Google ten years ago, boys. Can we do one where um, I look at the answer and then act like I didn't and then I actually look good, kind of smart? All right, wait, one last one because that one was kind of stupid. Come up with an evacuation plan. Your body is reduced. Oh, well, this one might be cool. Your body is reduced in size to the height of a nickel and then you are thrown into an empty blender. 
<laughs> These are actually wow. asked at Google. Could I, was, I literally, if I was the interviewer, I actually don't even think I could keep a straight face. While I, I think they're trying to <laughs> figure out if you could. You imagine them. actually evaluating someone being like, "I just shrunk you to the size of a nickel and I threw you in a blender." What are you gonna do? Uh, no, wait, hold on. What are you gonna do? You got one minute to answer. What are you gonna if do? If I cut off blender? your hand right now, what would you? Oh, that is right. the, that is the rest of the question. The blender will be turned on in sixty seconds. What do you do? Wow. All right, the plot thickens. Okay, um, I would. I'd probably enjoy the first 30 seconds being like i'm the size of a nickel this is amazing <laughs> so cool i've never seen the world from this perspective that's what you would be thinking yeah and then i i guess i would I, i'm probably too small for the blades to hit me so i would just stand oh, there i don't know dude yeah mm. just lay down on the ground lay down wait see yeah. see if you would fit underneath it yeah be scary, that's, I mean, I dude. Just do. blades going absolutely ham like an inch away from me that would be insane. yo it's even worse if they start blending shit while you're in there and then you just get free juice yeah, I guess if you can drink fast enough, it's actually sick. Right. Yeah. Or it's just like swimming in a, a pool of, I don't know, like a green juice or whatever. Pull out the juice. rubber blade protectors from my pockets and cover the blades. Think about Not that. Bad. Also, I... wait, this world, in this world, I can be shrunk to the size of a nickel. So how about I just... Also, can shapeshift, and also <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I would uh, regrow myself to the size of a human. Yeah, what if the blend? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I would just kind of unshrink myself, you know. So okay, this guy is saying this is how you would think about the question's answer is. This is meant to test your creativity. You could try and tamper with the electric motor before the blade start. Okay, dude, we're. The electric motor isn't in the blender. Like what? What are you diffusing a bomb? You have sixty seconds. You're in to like a plastic container. You can't. Yeah, just you don't go. have any fucking tools or anything either. Isn't the? Am I in a neutral bullet or is it more of like a, you know, what what am I in? Or you could try it's and like break the art. break the plastic. True. Or disassemble the blades. I think the motor's stupid, dude. That shit isn't even close to the inside of a blender. Right. Ever yeah. heard of encapsulation, my guy? You know. True. All right, <laughs> so that is it. I would say overall, we got into Google. Do you think, yeah, do you think we, got, we made it. Did we get into Google? <laughs> Probably not. We, we would have got, we got fucked, dude. Google, if you're watching this video. Let us know. Leave a comment, Google. Let us know. All right, that is it. Let, let us know in the comments if you were some kind of weirdo that just knew all the answers to these. And if you did, then screw you. But... Subscribe to Kevin, subscribe to Adam. Their channels are linked in the description. And thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.